we're ready to thread the machine. So you have your thread on the top. You put it through this guide first. <clears throat> and this guide is great because you can just put your finger on the thread. It's easier with two hands. <laughs> and then you just pull it from back to front. and it snaps right in there. Of course, it's not going to do it while I'm holding the camera. I'm going to just do it. Through. There you go. So now it's in there. You come down to, these are the tension discs. These are what keep the thread at a constant pressure while you're sewing. So you want to go over here. You can slide it against this little guide. You want to go between the discs. You want to keep those free of lint, so I'm giving you a brush that you can kind of brush them out. Or sometimes you can just pull them out and blow between there. Don't use compressed air, because on an older sewing machine, compressed air will cause rust because there's condensation. Now you want it over and pull up against this loop. That's the spring. Um, usually I have two hands, but keep the top thread snug. I'm going to have to do it this way. So then you pull this up. Oh, sorry. And towards the right and you'll see that now the thread is over that little hook area. Okay, then you bring it up and you have to thread it through this hole right here, which I'm gonna to have to put the phone down. And this goes right to left. Just like that. And I printed a manual for you, so there is a threading diagram. Oh, I need to clean that out a little better. There is a threading diagram. Here's how to wind bobbin and a diagram for how to thread the machine, which is extremely helpful. And then you come down to this guide right here, and you can just snap it right in there. Then you come down here. There's a little kind of a spring loop right here. Go goodness, I am not left-handed, I'm sorry. Go there, like behind it, and then pull it around there so that it comes through that loop. Then come down here, and you want it to go in this slit. So, Obviously much easier with two hands. I hold it like this, and then I bring it through. Pull it towards you. And thread your needle front to back. And pull it off to the left. And when you first start sewing, you're gonna probably break a lot of thread. So what you wanna do is pull a substantial amount out to the left, that way it won't pull back on itself and make a knot until you learn what you're doing. So now, these are extra bo uh, bobbins for you. Here is the brush that you can use to clean out the tension discs when there's no thread in there, just brush lightly. Sometimes you'll get lint in there and then um, it'll act like it's not operating properly. Now, to insert the bobbin, what you want to do, let's see if I can set up, open the door, you want your bobbin to come off counterclockwise. 
this way. So if you're holding it like this and you pull on it, it spins counterclockwise. You drop it in there, hence the reason this is called a drop-in bobbin. And then you can see this little slit right here. <clears throat> That's your lower tension, your bobbin tension. You don't usually need to change that at all. Um, that doesn't vary very much. Then you pull it backwards. And then there is a slit right here that's kind of a guide for the thread. So pull that in the opposite direction. Then you want to close the little door. Make sure you don't catch it in the snug part over here. Make sure you have room. Then you hold the needle thread. And as you hold the needle thread, you crank the wheel towards you. You always turn the wheel towards you, never away from you when there's thread in the machine. Now you pull it up and see there is, it looks like two threads here. That's because it has taken the bobbin thread. I don't know if you can see that in there. It's going to grab it and pull it up to the top. That's exactly how you get this started. You want both threads at the top before you begin to sew. <clears throat> Sometimes I just take the point of my scissors and hold on to the loop and pull until I have everything straightened out. So now you should have two threads, upper and lower. This guy jumped out. So you want to keep an eye on these um, thread positions. Sometimes if you're not paying attention, like when you're threading the needle, one will pop out. And then there is a slit in the presser foot right in the center. You want to pull your thread back through there and always keep it out to this side before you start to sew. There we go.